the walk along the seawall at Timberth. It actually runs in the east from Holcombe, where I'm starting from, and continues along until it reaches the town of Timberth. On our left we have the beach. The tide's quite well out at the moment. It's quite a long drop down there. You need to stay well away from the edges. On the right hand side we have the mainline railway, the only railway that runs through Devon and takes trains down to Plymouth, Truro and Penzance. Now this is one of the great walks with the beaches on one side and the train line on the other but it is in danger of being lost to us. Sometimes the tides are so high, the waves are so aggressive that they damage the railway track. A few years back they actually removed the track bed completely and the railway line was some months out of action until they could rebuild it. The need for increased protection for the railway is well understood but the fear is they will make a complete abomination of it. A couple of miles back the railway passes close to the beach again at Dawlish and they're rebuilding the sea wall there and it is one of the most grotesque monstrosities you have ever seen. Let me show you some shots of what they're doing at Dawlish and we fear they will do here at Timmouth. This is the view over Dawlish and the concrete that you see running from the across the picture is the new sea wall that they're still building. It must rank as one of the biggest eyesores in Devon. It is just concrete, concrete paths, concrete walls. There's no finesse about it, no design about it. And when you walk it, you're walking along concrete with concrete walls alongside. And it isn't a pleasant experience. The danger is they're going to put this right the way along the coastline to protect the railway. The railway does need protection, but it doesn't need a monstrosity like this. And the fear is they'll then extend this along the uh, path that runs along the next bay, the, the Timmouth Bay. And uh, that would ruin Timmouth. Let's just zoom up a little bit and show you a little bit more of what they're trying to do down there. The work is carrying on as, as we speak. You can see a train going through now on the left. We'll come into shot in a moment. And that building there is Dawlish Railway Station. Come off the sea wall now and I'm down on the beach. And you can see here this stone wall is really quite pleasing. Made of some local stone all the way along. And compare that to what we can see is happening at Dawlish, just solid white concrete all the way. This is looking back the way we've just walked and you can see the first of the series of tunnels that the railway line goes through at Holcombe and then eventually comes out at Dawlish. And if you tire of the sea view, there's always a train. The other issue they have with the railway track here, besides the sea, is the likelihood of a rock fall from this uh, cliff face. You can see they've netted it all and there's a lot of sensors up there, solar powered sensors, which detect if there's any movement going on. You can see as we walk along this sea wall that the tide does come in pretty high as it's thrown up a lot of gravel onto the path here. We 
got some repairs going on here to the existing sea defences. He's picking up the large stones and rocks that have been moved by the tide, putting them back as some sort of defence. About halfway along, the, there is a promontory which goes out and we'll follow that and back in against the coast path a little bit further along. Out on the end here, just amongst the trees, alongside the path, I noticed that some people have made a little garden of remembrance of various friends and family. Rather nicely done. There's another one in, in the clearing there. As you pass by on the railway, you'll see this large sign telling you that it is Tynmouth. Here, here too, the protection against the falling rocks off the cliff face. This high, secure fence, and up the top there, a lot of uh, wire mesh been bolted to the cliff face to contain the, the debris that might fall on the line. You can see at this point that the railway line curves away from the coast and just up there is Tynmouth Railway Station. We're now entering the town of Tynmouth. I'll do a pan round so you can see where we've been. The cliffs at the far end with the white houses on top is Holcombe, where we started. And obviously a lunch spot. These are the houses just the other side of the promenade. Just set back from the front as we walk along towards the end at Sheldon, opposite Sheldon. We've reached the end now where the River Tain comes and joins the sea. You've seen the River Tain there and across the river is Sheldon. There is a ferry that runs across here and we're going to pan up. You can see the bridge across the team there. And the river meanders down there. So that's the end of our walk. Just one thing before we go. Spotted this Humber Super Snipe in the car park. It looks in really lovely condition. Despite the teddy bear on the steering wheel. Lovely little car. And we've just had a lovely walk from Holcomb through to Tynmouth. Thoroughly recommend the walk. Do do it in the next year or two before they start messing up the sea wall and possibly turning it into a concrete monstrosity like they have at Dawlish. But uh, come and enjoy it while you can. Tynmouth's a lovely little village, lovely little town, seaside town. Thoroughly recommend it. One of the best on the South Devon coast. Till the next time. <laughs>